Will you buy my oil? How much will you pay me? Yes, this scenario is real. For the first time in recorded history, American crude oil has been selling for less than zero dollars a barrel. Sorry, I mean barrel. What made me think it was barrow? It reached a low of around negative 37 US dollars a barrel. I don't know about you, but I find that unbelievable. They can't even give it away. Of course, this is all caused by the coronavirus lockdown. People are not driving as much. Airlines are essentially grounded. Just today, Virgin Australia collapsed and went into voluntary administration, although more recent news is saying that around 10 potential new investors are circling a possible restructuring. But we certainly know things are serious when billionaires are calling for bailouts. So why did the oil prices go negative? Basically, because the United States' oil storage was near capacity and they were unable to hold all the unused crude. Oil is already being stockpiled on barges out at sea. This graph of West Texas Intermediate, aka Texas Light Sweet oil prices over the last decade, says it all. This graph is a bit deceptive as it's using a log scale. However, if we turn that off, we can see now that it's not quite as severe, but still an incredible fall. Very few of us would have predicted that a single virus was going to cause so much economic carnage. Obviously, these low prices have had flow-on effects. I suppose you've all noticed how cheap petrol is of late. In many parts of Brisbane, petrol is less than 90 cents per litre. This is great for people who still have jobs and have to drive to work. But for people like me who are stuck at home all day long, I simply don't have any reason to use the car. So I'm not exactly benefiting from low oil prices. In theory, thanks to lower transport costs, food could possibly become cheaper, but I'll believe it when I see it. Anyway, only a short video today as I'm acting as a part-time teacher helping my kids out with their schoolwork. I've also got my own work to do, Zoom meetings to attend, emails to write, people to ring. My wife's busy with her own studies. I'm trying to squeeze in some time to make these YouTube videos, and I'm hoping to get outside in the fresh air before the sun goes down. Talk to you next time.